Hello everyone, I'm excited to be back here again with another dev chat. Before we start, I want to remind everyone that the game is in pre-alpha development. If you want to learn more about what that means, or their progress, or anything else, please visit their website, social media accounts, and Patreon page. The links for all of that will be in the video description. To begin with, we're going to be checking out para-related questions, answers, and ideas. Would you like to be able to choose whether or not your para walks or runs to a location? Well, either way, there might not be a choice. It depends on if there's a reason to have those options and how it'll look visually. Too many options will make it look kind of cluttered, which would not be that great. When testing animations, the team will use various different bodies. This is to ensure that the animation will work with all different body features and sizes. Moreover, the fitness, fatness code doesn't exist yet, so there's no concern that Para will get crazy fit from them testing the animations on them. The idea of something like an empathy slider sounds great. I've always found it a little cray cray that you have to choose between good or evil or just nothing. When there's a huge gray area between those two options. And like, I want to pick like how good they are, you know? I don't want them just to be neutral. Anna says that the variation in emotions during a conversation will be a great indication of the character. And that's fantastic to hear. I would like to see indications of who the character is and what they value as they have those conversations. You know what I mean, Jelly Bean. It would be adorable if our para folk could be game developers or work at a game store. I like the idea of having jobs like that. Like it's not just an astronaut or the prime minister. It could be more diverse than just having those extreme options. There are no romantic or flirty interactions yet, but there certainly will be one day. I really want to know more about Marvin. I can't wait for that day to come when we find out a lot about him. Alas, today is not that day. In addition, this is a good reminder that there's a ton of information posted on Patreon. Every Friday, there's a post made that gives us a little preview, a poll, or a great conversation starter about the game. If that interests you, I highly recommend you go on over there and see it for yourself. This is an interesting idea. It kind of reminds me of someone who schedules in when they're going to focus on their hobbies or do something that they enjoy. I'm not that type of person. I wish that I was, and I've tried. I just... I don't know. I find it hard to stick to a schedule, which is kind of lame, but I'm working on it. 2022. It's going to be the year of scheduling for me. I hope. Anyways. On to build related things. Fair rides would be amazing to have in Paralives. I think having a small amusement park or a fair would be nice, especially if there's rides. Although, having something like Canada's Wonderland would be next level. Oh my goodness. The focus for 2022 is definitely on live mode, but that doesn't mean the team isn't working on a little bit of build mode. I mean, there's still bugs to be fixed, right? So, there's that. Finally, we got two questions about Paralives overall. For the game to be officially out of pre-alpha development, the core of the game must be playable, but the majority of the content is still missing. Check out the development on their website to learn about what that means exactly. Different material surfaces will make different sounds. That's going to be fantastic sounding, but also I kind of assume a little bit complicated to make. Hopefully it all works out in the end because I like that. The dynamic sounds. Thank you for stopping by. I greatly appreciate everyone who takes the time to listen to these dev chats. It means a lot to me. Thank you again and I'll be talking to you pretty soon. Bye!